should not allow any pollution in this power. Pollution, money, lies, corruption. Because if you allow it to be polluted, very soon it will lose meaning. People will be fed up and not even go for elections. Very easily. Yes. The population will lose interest in the elections. And if they lose interest in the elections, you have lost. Because you have lost legitimacy. President Yoel Museveni made those remarks on Wednesday night at State House in Tebe while addressing the NRM Parliamentary Caucus during the primary election of the party's nominees to the East African Legislative Assembly. The president said elections should not be a mere formality, but rather a meaningful practice to choose leaders to transform society. The elections must be proper and credible. If you pollute them, there will be a problem for you. President Yoel Museveni spoke a day after the NRM primaries were cancelled, after chaotic scenes erupted in the conference hall at State House in Tebe following disagreements over the process. Earlier, there had been widespread claims that some of the Yala aspirants were bribing members of parliament who constitute the Yala Electoral College. These security forces, some of which had gone to sleep, we shall wake them up. So that election means election. Doesn't mean money, doesn't mean you go and talk and convince people. That's what election means. Not by lies. Like somebody goes and says they, they want to, uh, Seven has sold like Victoria. Seven has sold like, like Yoga. And, and nobody takes action. Ironically, President Museveni's critics have on many occasions accused him of practicing these same things he was preaching against. This was the same during the election of the Speaker and Deputy Speaker in May 2016. The President was accused of bribing NR members of Parliament with 10 million shillings each to vote Jacob Bolanya as Deputy Speaker. That's not, that's not corruption. That is helping them to cope with the problems of the society. That the president can admit having given people money, voters money, to vote for a deputy speaker, then it is so sad. It is a very false note to, to start on as parliament. In July last year, the Alliance for Campaign Finance Monitoring in Uganda, a coalition of civil society organizations which promotes transparency in election financing, indicated that President Yoram Seveni spent 773 billion shillings in the 2016 general election. In 2011, the president was also accused of borrowing heavily to finance the election, and this strained the economy, with inflation hitting a record high, 30% plus. Some economists have since argued that years after that general election, Uganda's economy is yet to recover from those shocks, which also saw the walk-to-work protests. Meanwhile, in the same caucus meeting, President Yoram Museveni explained the statements he made in Masindi district during the Liberation Day celebrations. Those remarks have since stand controversial, with many Ugandans saying the head of state is increasingly getting out of touch with reality. The other day in Masindi, I had people turning upside, uh, things upside down. I told you that you should not bring employee mentality in politics. You should not regard yourself as an employee, that you are looking for a job, and because you are looking for a job, you must bribe people, beg them as if they are doing you a favor. You should look at it as, as a service to your people, to your country, where you can also make a contribution. The president urged the six NRM nominees, Paul Musamali, Rosa Cole, Mary Mujenyi, Matthias Kasamba, Dennis Namara, and Georgia Dongo to work for a stronger integration. That's if they are voted by Parliament on 28th February. These nominees are expected to easily sail through, considering that the NRM has over 290 members of Parliament in a house of about 450 legislators. Shilan today, NTV.